Hey guys, welcome back to 88-Bit Tech. I'm AJ and today we're reviewing another AliExpress SSD. This time it's the uh, it's the Funjang SSD. This is a, I got the one terabyte. It's a Gen 4 by 4 SSD rated for 7,500 megabytes read and I believe 7,000 write. I'll have to double check. Pricing wise, I got this for about 50 US dollars delivered uh, with taxes included. So I'm excited to test this out. I've swapped out my Samsung 980 Pro for this Gen 4x4 since I only have one 4x4 M.2 slot on my computer. Hopefully it performs well. From the test that I've seen online of it, it's kind of all over the place. I'm hoping that I got, I lucked out and I got one with a decent controller. It's definitely TLC, I believe. But yeah, we'll, we'll find out now. We're gonna go ahead and run Crystal Dismark. So I've got three N.2 NVMe SSDs. Recently just installed a PCIe adapter for an M.2. So that's how I'm able to have three drives in there. And Crystal Dismark with HW Info. We're gonna get the whole gamut here, guys. Okay, so I stand corrected. The Fanjang SSD is rated for 7,450 megabytes read and write, or read, and write speeds of up to 6,750 megabytes. So pretty good. It's actually rated, um, this SSD is rated to be faster than my Samsung 980 Pro. My Samsung 980 Pro is rated for 7,000 read, 6,000 write. So this is actually faster and, and costs a hell of a lot less. So I paid $71.43 AUD. This Gen 4 SSD, M.2 SSD from AliExpress cost me $48.48 in US dollars. So that's a really, really good price. Hopefully it lives up to its claims. Let me find it on HW Info. There it is. So Samsung or Smart uh, Fanjong S790, one terabyte. We've got a, currently an average temperature of 43 degrees. So we've got the settings set to NVMe SSD here. Profile is set to default, read and write. And we're gonna go ahead and do stress this one. So we're gonna do nine passes at 64 gigabytes. Make sure it's the F drive for Fanjang. That's what I labeled it as. So we've got no data on there. And we're gonna go ahead and start this test. Hopefully we get a good result. While that does that, I'll pull this over here so you can see. This was, like I said, in the image here, 7,450 megabytes per second for the read and the write speed is 6,750 megabytes, uh, which is really good. As I said before, rated higher than my Samsung 980 Pro. And I really like the design of this. It's kind of cool. I I do appreciate Fan Zhang's statements um, and at least when it comes to their transparency they talk about okay so <laughs> specifications um, the it's a Maxio controller 3d NAND uh, it should be TLC I think it said it states that somewhere else let's see where does it say that it doesn't say but anyway Write speed can be 6,600 megabytes per second or 6,750. So you, I guess there's an option. But it comes with a five-year warranty. And what's really cool is the reason they have this mask here is just to kind of keep up with their cultural, um, the cultural heritage of, of China, which I do appreciate that. That's, I think that's pretty cool. I also think it just looks dope. But let's see, let's move down here. I really like how they actually show um, in their description. So it does come with a heat sink, a graphene heat sink, which is cool. But let's see here, where is it? Some more specifications. Ah, okay, so the one terabyte is 6,600 uh, megabytes per second versus the two terabyte is 6750. All right, and this is cool. So down here, they actually list what they, the system that they tested the speeds on and the drives and shows the motherboard and everything, which I think is 
way more than what other companies on AliExpress show. So that's I do appreciate that. Um, yep, 3D TLC. So this is triple level cell, which is good to know. Yeah, and 4.9 out of 5 stars. So like I said, uh, hopefully that th this does uh, keep true to its rated read and write speeds, but we'll find out here shortly. We'll come back to the video once we've uh, finished the test here, guys. And we're back, guys. So we've finished the test here. Um, I'll uh, share my screen, but this drive has done exceptionally well. I am um, floored at actually the speeds that we're getting here. Now it is definitely shy of what it's rated for. It's supposed to be 7,450 read, but we even uh, we actually only get a theoretical here of 7,057. And then for the actual real world performance, we're at 6,700 megabytes. So it's supposed to be 6,600. We're only getting 6,385 in theoretical. And then, however, we are getting a respectable 6,400 write speed on this uh, in that second line that you can see there which is absolutely amazing. Uh, considering that I paid less than 50 US dollars, delivery and taxes included, for a one terabyte Gen 4 by 4 SSD off AliExpress, it's exceptional. It's actually, this has a better write speed than my Samsung 980 Pro. Now the read speeds are less than my uh, 980 Pro. My, I get closer to, to that 7,000 mark on my 980 Pro. Now the main thing here, then the question just comes down, is it worth your peace of mind getting a, a Gen 4 SSD off of AliExpress? I would say it depends. I've already talked about this on another video, but if you are using this drive mainly for um, gaming, this is 100% an easy recommendation for me. Temperature-wise, that graphene heatsink seems to be doing well. It's, uh, it reached a, a maximum of 49 degrees C. Celsius, which is compared to my Samsung has gotten up to like 50 something degrees But I mean the operating temperatures of these drives go all the way up to 70 degrees C So I don't think you're gonna see a thermal throttle on this one at all If you're building a new budget PC, Funjung SSDs, the S790 in particular For less than 50 US dollars, you're getting Gen 4 speeds as long as you have the appropriate Gen 4 slot to put it in Easy recommendation for gaming absolutely easy however for productivity work i would still recommend um, storing your your stuff on some on a more reputable brand like samsung corsair sabrance um, and definitely backing up that data anyway but for some stuff where you've got it or you've got it on a cloud like you can always re-download the games or you can your your saved games are backed up to steam then this is an an easy route to go you can also plug this in it's a, it's it's compatible with your PS5, PS4, uh, any of the new modern consoles. So it's another easy. If you need to upgrade your your storage options on that, I would I would say it's an easy go on that one as well. Anyways, thank you guys for tuning in. <laughs> I'm super excited that I was able to get close to that 7,000 read and write on here. Very close. This is exceptional speeds for a $50 drive off of AliExpress. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.